So the question might arise, why do we consider thinning a plantation? Really, you know, as trees are planted, they're all planted about 2,500 per hectare. Trees die. It's a natural uh, process of competition between each other. Um, and once trees get to about um, you know, 14, 15 years of age, a lot, tr a lot of trees start to compete against each other. You'll have a, some trees will be very dominant, some trees will be smaller. People will be familiar with uh, uh, carrots growing in a field. You'll have the very big carrots and you'll have the smaller ones. So the same thing hap happens in a forest stand. So again, what we want to do uh, as forest managers or a good forest management is we want to focus the production on very good stems in the forest. So for example, you'll have your very big stem which is very un un unshapely or very unsightly should we be retaining that or should we remove it? Well, we should remove it because what's the point in uh, focusing your production on a very poor quality stem? It, its neighbour beside it may require more growing space and may be of a better shape. So ultimately, um, we want to create more growing space for the remaining trees. So we want to focus our production a growing space on those trees that have a potential to grow to saw log size, which are going to yield the highest value uh, in terms of uh, end rotation. And I mean by the highest value, which is the, the greatest volume of saw log. Okay, just to give you an example of what happens in an on tin stand, if we decide not to tin our forest, what happens is 50% of the volume, when we decide to clear fell the stand, will be saw log. 50% will be uh, the remaining 50% will be a, a proportion of pulp wood and a proportion of pallet wood. Obviously that proportion of pallet wood and pulp wood is going to be less valuable. So as I call it, we're actually retaining uh, a growing space in the stand for growing of a lower value product. Okay, so when should we consider thinning our stand? Well, there's a couple of rules at home and everybody from, will be familiar with them. You'd walk into your stand, you can't gain access in, into the stand, it's too dense to walk through. That's a good indicator. Rule, general rules of thumb will be the trees are between 12, 10 and 12 metres in height. That's a very good rule of thumb. But we also want to know what the stocking is, what the density of the stems are there. It, that's even a better guide. Um, so what we've developed is a, a, a ready reckoner which uh, allows you to record the number of stems per hectare and their, di their diameter. So, for example, um, everybody knows how to count the number of stems in a 10 by 10 meter plot. And so, for example, in a 10 by 10 meter plot, which is uh, 100 square meters, if there was uh, 25 stems in that, you factor that up to a, to a, to a hectare. Uh, and what you do then is you measure your diameter of all of those trees.